In this lesson, we're going to look at how we can better understand fractions with the use of pattern blocks. In this first question, we're asked to cover shape A with a trapezoid block, or with uh, trapezoid blocks. So first, I will go ahead and place one trapezoid at the top of our hexagon, and then one trapezoid at the bottom of our hexagon, and I notice that it takes two hexagons to cover up, sorry, two trapezoids to cover up this hexagon, one and two. My second question is, what fraction of the shape is covered by one trapezoid? So we really just want to draw our attention to one trapezoid. What fraction of the shape is covered by this one red trapezoid? Well, I noticed that it took two trapezoids to cover this hexagon, and I'm just supposed to focus on one trapezoid. So I know that my fraction is one trapezoid of total two. Let's move forward and we'll take a look at a second example. It says, cover shape A with rhombuses. What fraction of the shape is covered by one rhombus? So my first step is to cover the hexagon with rhombuses. And I notice that it takes three rhombuses. Let me go ahead and adjust this rhombus to fit well. I know that it takes three rhombuses to make or to cover one hexagon. So my first question is, what fraction of the shape is covered by one rhombus? Well, I notice that it takes three rhombuses to cover one hexagon. So if I'm looking at just one rhombus, that would be one rhombus out of a total of three, which would cover the hexagon. So I know that my fraction is one third. One rhombus of a potential three rhombuses that it would take to cover the entire figure. My second question is, what about two rhombuses? What if I had two rhombuses? What fraction of the shape is covered by this rhombus and this rhombus? Well, I know that I'm drawing my attention to two of the rhombuses of a total three rhombuses, which could cover the entire hexagon. So my fraction that is covered is two-thirds. My third question says, cover shape A with triangles. So I'll go ahead and do so right now. Pay special attention to how many triangles it takes to completely cover this figure. Five and six. So we can again count up how many triangles it takes to cover this figure. One, two, three, four, five, six triangles to cover this. And now if I remove five of these triangles and I focus my attention just on one, I can ask myself, what fraction of the shape is covered by just this one triangle? Just this one. Well, I know that it took six to cover the entire hexagon, and I'm looking at just one triangle, so this must be one-sixth. What about three triangles? One, two, three. Well, I know that that's three triangles of the six that it would take to cover the entire figure, but I could also be something else. It could be represented as a different fraction or I guess, you know, a, a different name for the same fraction. Three-sixths can also be represented as one-half, and I'll show you why. We've got three triangles that have been put together, and that kind of makes the same shape as a trapezoid. And we recognize that it takes two of these trapezoids to cover up our hexagon. So these three triangles could either be three-sixths of the hexagon, or one out of how many? Two trapezoids, right? So one-half or three-sixths would be a completely okay answer here. Uh, now what about five triangles? So I've got three triangles here in my hexagon. Let's go ahead and add two more. One and two. And now how many trapezoids do, or how many triangles do I have total? Three, four, five. I've got five triangles out of how many? Six, right? Six that could potentially fill up the entire hexagon. So I know that my fraction is 5 sixths. Next, we're asked to cover shape A with one trapezoid and three triangles. So let me go ahead and put one trapezoid on top, one trapezoid, and I'll put in three triangles. Next, it asks me to take my straight edge and draw what the shapes look like on the hexagon at the right. So I'll take my straight edge and I'll go ahead and draw this figure. Cutting a line right across the middle for my trapezoid, and two lines for my three triangles. And I'm going to ask to label each part with a fraction. So first, let's turn my attention to the trapezoid. 
I know that it would take this one trap, this, I have one trapezoid, and it would take how many to cover the entire figure? Two, right? So I know that my fraction, I have one, I have one trapezoid, and it would take two to cover the entire figure. So I've got one in my numerator and two as my denominator. So it, my trapezoid covers half of my hexagon. Next, I turn my attention to one of my triangles. And I notice that I have three of them. So let's turn my attention first to the first triangle. And I ask myself, how many triangles would it take to cover the entire figure? Well, let's count one, two, three, four, five, six. It would take six. So each triangle represents the same amount. And I am focusing first just on this first triangle, and that would represent one sixth of the triangle. And again, the second triangle, it would take six to cover the entire shape. And again, I'm just focusing my attention on this one triangle now, so it's one sixth. So each of these triangles represent one sixth of the entire figure. To think of it another way, if I added up all of these fractions, one sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth plus one half, that would be covering my what? my entire figure, right? It'd be covering the entire hexagon. So I know that 1 6 plus 1 6 plus 1 6 plus 1 half is, is equal to 1. Let's take a look at another problem. For instance, here it says cover shape A with two rhombuses and two triangles. Draw the result on the hexagon below. Label each part with a fraction. So right now I'm going to go ahead and take these two rhombuses and place them inside my hexagon. Now I'm going to go ahead and take two triangles <clears throat> and fill these two triangles in on this hexagon above. <clears throat> now I'm going to take a straight edge and draw in the shapes on this hexagon to the left, which will show me <clears throat> the lines of my shapes. So my pattern blocks are sort of taking this shape right here. I'll draw in this line to make my two triangles. And now I need to label each section with a fraction. So first let's take a look at this rhombus right here and ask ourselves what fraction of the hexagon is covered by this rhombus? Well I know that three rhombuses could cover the entire hexagon and I'm just focusing on one of the rhombuses so this must be covering one-third of the entire shape. Similarly this rhombus over here is one-third of the entire hexagon because I know that three of the rhombuses could cover the entire hexagon. Looking at this triangle, I know that six triangles could cover the hexagon, so each triangle must be one-sixth of the entire figure. We can push our thinking even more with problem number six, which asks us to cover shape A with one trapezoid, one rhombus, and one triangle. So I'll cover my shape with my trapezoid, my rhombus, and my triangle. I'll flip this around. And I'll use a straight edge to draw in the shapes of each figure onto the hexagon to the left. There's my trapezoid and my rhombus and triangle. Now I need to label each part with the fraction. First, the trapezoid. I notice that the trapezoid takes up a good portion of my hexagon. And I know that of the entire hexagon, two trapezoids could cover the entire hexagon. But in my figure on the left, I only have one trapezoid. So I know that it's covering one of the two possible trapezoids to cover the entire hexagon. This trapezoid is now covering one half of the figure. My rhombus can be thought of as three rhombuses which would cover the entire hexagon. And because I only have one rhombus, this is one-third of the entire hexagon. Lastly, my triangle. Again, six triangles would be used to cover the entire hexagon. And I only have one of them, so I know that the triangle covers one-sixth of my hexagon. Things can get a bit more challenging when your whole, or the, the, uh, the whole object changes. For instance, this is our whole unit down here, these two hexagons that are connected. So shape B needs to be covered with trapezoids. So we can cover this trapezoid using uh, four trapezoids. So I'll go ahead and cover this whole figure with four trapezoids. Now 
once we do this, we need to answer the question, what fraction of the shape is covered by one trapezoid? So just looking at this one trapezoid, we recognize that there are four trapezoids which cover our entire whole. So one trapezoid would just be one piece of four, or one-fourth of the whole. Similarly, uh, if we were looking at what fraction of the shape is covered by two trapezoids, we would recognize that two trapezoids cover up, um, our, or two trapezoids are two pieces of the four trapezoids which cover the entire object. So it could be considered two of four, or really one half of the entire object. And lastly, three fourths would be three of the trapezoids of the four, so it would be three fourths. In our final example, we're supposed to cover shape B with rhombuses. And I'll, I'll do my best to quickly cover these two hexagons, or our whole, with rhombuses. So here's three rhombuses, four, five, and six rhombuses. We see that our whole is com covered with six rhombuses, so we know that one rhombus would represent one-sixth. In the same way, three rhombuses would be covering three of the six total pieces of our whole. So three rhombuses would be three-sixths, or one-half of our whole. In much the same way, we can take a look at uh, five rhombuses and ask what fraction of the shape is covered by five rhombuses because we know that six rhombuses cover our entire whole. Five rhombuses would be five sixths. Three, four, five. Five of these shapes, that would be five sixths of the entire whole. And I hope these pattern blocks help you to better understand um, a way to look at fractions. We'll become more familiar as we move throughout the unit. Thanks for watching.